Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Well, I have some information. Um, I'm not quite sure how it's going to come out, but it does have to do with the collective and where the changes are going um, on with the collective and how it's bringing us back to um, the forefront of the family. Um, families have always been the agenda because if you don't have a man and a woman, then you will have no seed to uh, breed, right? And um, everything in life uh, is um, actually um, demonstrated through a seed being planted. So the last two days I've had some kind of thoughts and feelings about some things and I'm sure others out there have had them. So the collective is rioting, you know, and uh, my thoughts were I wonder how people feel that are not a part of the rioting. Knowing that the riot has been going on in many people for many years and centuries. And so my question to the collective, how is it feeling in your house? You know, and when I say how is it feeling in your house, in your home, in your heart, how has some of the century past situations concerning uh, black men affected your household, you know, my household, uh, the eras. Um, when I come fast forward, I look at a lot of deception and manipulation regarding the families. Um, number one, because the deception started with how certain people would make money. Um, those certain people were the head of a patriarch system that would not just look at race and color, but it would also discriminate against women. And um, those women, some of them would fall for the deception of women's lib, become more liberated, have other options to exit a scene rather than being a part of working out their relation. Now, this is a big, big um, discussion. I have some young ladies I'll come back um, with, but I wanted to touch on the patriarch and some of the energy that it is, um, it is put out in the world to make women and even men that had their feminine um, side already intact. See, a woman can operate as a patriarch and disregard uh, the feelings of her husband and um, vice versa, the husband. So I see that throughout this tenure, we have a narcissistic behavior and gaslighting. We have relationships with patriarch um, type of entities or energy that says that it's my way or no way. And it's unhealthy. A lot of women and men are looking at how do I you know, move through this type of relationship. And a lot of people have exited these type of relationships because there is no way to communicate with someone that has the head of the family or the head of the relationship and is dominated by them. Let me read what patriarch is defined, um, of the definition of it. And um, I am not in any ways coming in here uh, discussing this to slight men or women that have been the head of the household, but to let everyone know that may have been experiencing a lot of um, pain and um, suffering within their inner man in the last month, that Venus is, is speaking to us. Venus is speaking to us and she's asking for balance. If Venus in your chart, wherever it is, that's where you have to bring balance at, all right? And so um, the um, patriarch, the male head of a family or tribe, it says the family patriarch makes all decisions regarding living arrangements, children's marriages, and money. In America, all of that's not happening anymore, especially in the Black family. Um, I, I like to believe that 
you know, the male needs to take his place because he has the masculine energy to operate in strength where the woman can't. But the woman has the ability as the matriarch, if she's allowed to do her part in strength that he cannot, all right? And this is a message that has not been given overall to people um, in our race, in, black, in the black race. Now, I believe that it happens in all races, but I wanna speak to us because of the rioting. Some of the issues is because we need to go and take our families back holistically. That means whole, not a piece of the pie, but the whole family, the pie. And when I look at it, um, for me, this is something that has been um, a part of my heart, not because I want it, but it's because that's what I came for. You know, people came here to do something. So I taught women how to understand men and even be submissive, but not be submissive where you're being gaslighted. Not submissive where you're being uh, put in a position and there's a silent treatment. There is not just the personality that deals with a gaslighter or a narcissistic behavior. This is energy. And the energy of, of, of a patriarch is coming from centuries of, of people, men, uh, and that have put women or men that and women that act like they're the head of something that put people in a certain predicament where they can't emotionally express themselves. The rioting is showing us that. We've had men throughout centuries over the United States. It's not yet been a woman. Now, I believe that if a woman takes this place, it has to be a woman that has a heart as a leader in the United States, but I don't want to get off track because I'm talking about that energy of the patriarch. It's do as I say and not as um, I do. So that means that you rule everything that you say. It's all about you. Now, we're not going to get up and fight after this year uh, video is, is put on um, YouTube, but what we're going to do, women and men that have been feeling oppressed is begin to it actually exercise our spirituality and look at this from a holistic view, not in an anger view or a wounded view, but heal my wounds. Why have I been put in this position? And then when you figure out maybe some of it without retaliation or without putting the other person down, you could look at that patriarch and see the insecurities that they have, right? Because they're not whole. They don't have everything that they need. People fight for things to hold on to because it's their security net. You know, if it's your house and or, or your money, you would forsake everything else for your house and your money rather than telling your true feelings, right? That's, that's what the patriarch does. It demises others. It puts them down because it wants to be bigger. Now, you can say this is a bullying spirit as well. But anytime that there is a man or a woman that is the head of a household and there's no unity there, then you might be dealing with the patriarch because we have the spirit of patriarch coming from the head down in America. And at this time, you know, we have one that def definitely has the traits of uh, gaslighting and um, narcissism. So with that being said, you could get quiet rather than emotionally reacting right now because there is energy that's coming in that's healing us. You know, sometimes you're not feeling pain because someone did it. Someone afflicted the pain so that you could begin to analyze and assess yourself. It's not always reactive because reactive could cause something that is not healthy again. So that means that I get to a position and I begin to look at what's really happening. First of all, I need to get my emotions in check so that I can see clear because there could be some deception in me, right? And then I move on. And so we know that America is not being deceived because all around the world, we are being celebrated on the rioting. Now, I don't condone rioting where it's hurting people. To stand in protest 
Um, I do because there's in this here patriarch system, and even if it's in the home, if it's a man or a woman that's had this energy, uh, they walked away without discussing, then your heart is in a position where you feel like you're nothing or you're nobody. That time is coming to an end. We speak to the hearts and people of, uh, that have had this kind of emotional trauma in their life because when you're shut down and you cannot speak, it makes you feel like you're nobody. Well, I'm here to tell you that you're somebody and this is your time to rise is mine. It's everyone that has been in a position where things have not balanced out. We're not fighting to get attention. We're fighting for justice. Justice in our families, justice in our communities, justice in our businesses. Balance all the way around. So in a relationship, how could you get that? Well, you know what? I wanna, I wanna make some point of views here because um, I deal with astrology and I deal with the Bible. This is my way, okay? When I look at Mary, what I see is someone that was able to carry the seed of what many people in Christianity call um, the God, right? And so if Mary was given that assignment, Mary is very important. And so just to give the analogy of that, I go on and I look at the fact that Mary was at the foot of this same a child that was born, excuse me, who grew up uh, to become the savior and add characteristics to people to bring whole, you know, wholeness. She's there when he's dying. She is also there at the tomb when he awakens. It was no man there. The point that I'm making is, is that the value of women in many cases or the feminine energy has to do with spirituality. Um, it's not that you have to go into spirituality. Just hear what I'm saying, the importance of a woman, of a woman or the feminine energy. If there's a man or men that have went through abuse with women, this is what you're dealing with, the need for you to search yourself out and bring balance, which means that you no longer fear them but you get an understanding of the energy that is working through them because it's possible that it's actually helping you to learn to mount up, to see your value, to see uh, that you are actually great. It's not one or two people that can put us down and say that, you know, you're wrong about everything. Many, many people fail to research themselves, even the patriarch. I mean, your presidents, what they do is just go by what they believe. So we have a system that goes by their own belief system. That doesn't mean that they're right. That means that, that they have their own way of thinking. So do I take on someone else's thinking? That's in the collective, and we did that. So over here, what I'm saying is in your home or in relationships, did you take on someone else's thinking? Did you become that because they said it? In many cases, love is uh, the issue. People are looking for love. Look for love within. The validation of your own belief system is where the changes in the heartache and pain will dissipate because now you're standing on something that you believe. You gotta find what you believe about yourself, what you believe a relationship is founded on. And you know, I wanna say this here, if the person doesn't listen to you, you can't just sit there and wait for them to listen because in most cases, unless they have an epiphany, they're coming back with the same information. And why is that? That's what they believe. Something built them up or they took on that position of sternness where nothing else can come in but what they say as a leader and a patriarch because there's insecurities there. You don't meet anybody by chance. It may look like a rock, but beyond the rock, it is a babe that needs love too. And that's what I say about the patriarch. Some people just say, I'm damned if I do and I'm damned if I don't. And so, you know, whatever, this is who I am. I'm just a vile, um, you know, individual that don't care. They've also become something that someone has spoken to their life. 
And so how do we rebuild our family? If I talk to patriarch and matriarch, blend, begin to take the time to heal your heart. Take the time out to heal and look at your rights and your wrongs on both, both behalves. At some point, you gotta visit matriarch energy and say, what they said is not the truth of who I am. Even all over the world, people have said that blacks were this, that, and the other, and they've not been that. We're wonderful people. In all races and classes, there's somebody that will make a race and class look like something other than, but some are accepted, and we are not when we make mistakes, right? Well, all is forgiven in love and war, but balance must be the partaker. How about that? Mars and Venus. Women are from what? Venus and men are from Mars. There's a bridge of understanding that has to come together in order for relationships to work in families, uh, with siblings, with um, business uh, um, projects, um, in communities, in states, and in the collective all over the world. If you need any kind of assistance concerning trauma, even with the rioting. Uh, we have, you know, coaches that help. Um, if you uh, get this message and it resonates with you concerning the imbalance of a patriarch and a matriarch, then email me at ifwbuilders at gmail.com. We can help to get that energy balance. We do personal development coaching, relationship coaching, and the reason that people get relationship and um, personal development coaching is because on a collective basis, we've been taught to be something other than what we are, which means that our children grow up being something other than what they truly are. They've been called everything. In your schools, the teachers are, you know, labeling your children. All of this becomes a part of who we are, but we want to get back to our DNA. What is our DNA? The DNA is whatever you desire it to be. We're all co-creators with the universe, with God. And that means that we can do all things. But sometimes we're not getting all things the way that we want because of what's been spoken into our life, what we've seen over the years, what has been done to us. And number one, emotionally, what could be blocking us? Emotions need to be heard. Someone needs to cry. They need to release it. And that's what we're here for. So more information on women's lives, more information on the patriarch and the women that were in the Bible, their significance like Deborah the judge. See, we're all significant. I just want to make sure that we understand that as a woman and as a man, if you have the feminine energy and it's there and you know how to nurture your children, Mr. Man, there's men taking care of their children. I'm talking to you too, because you're not just demonstrating patriarch. You're demonstrating a nurturing type of um, energy, which needs to be um, spoken to and validated. A woman that's carried a seed and had her children, she needs to be validated when someone has abused her. Domestic violence has been a part of her life or it, it's been in the generations. This here is not just them it's, or personality. You gotta go deeper than that because these people have been hurt. And then hurt people hurt people. So let's weigh in on this information and let's be a part of healing our culture, holistically, wholeness, love. We have a community on Facebook. I am a woman of power. We're starting to put men in there uh, coming soon. Um, we're not segregating. We want all of this dis discrimination to come to an end. We want equality wholly. Patriarchs and matriarchs work together. The energy is here. 
some people are not paying attention to the energy and what it's saying. They are going off of their feelings, making decisions. It's time to get within yourself, go within your heart and really find out what is going on with the universe and what God is doing. After a pandemic, we get rioting. It's time to wake up Mr. Man and Mrs. Man. You understand what I'm saying? It's time to embrace those demons and skeletons for the patriarchs that have been uh, gaslighting and narcissistic, running away, you run, you run. Um, it's time for you to deal with those, those emotions. Why? Because you're being called out. It's time. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Email me at ifwbuilders at gmail.com. I'm Kim. Love you and bless you.